Hey Mallards, it is Tuesday. Megan and I are in the car. We are at a Taco Bell just outside, or in Lakeland, I guess, technically. Who knows what I'm going to order. But we're going to the drive-in to see New Mutants, which might Woo. also be terrible, but we're going to enjoy ourselves. Oh, it's definitely going to be bad, but I'm excited. Mm -hmm. See? The centerpiece of Lakeland. Florida's centerpiece, this Taco Bell. Probably just Lakeland, but I like to think this Taco Bell. Good news for us, it's not busy here at, at all. all. Uh, this is the second week of this movie being played, and it is a Tuesday night. Yeah. And Wednesday night is their cheaper night, so people who don't have things on Wednesdays would obviously come tomorrow for the, like, cheap half-price tickets. Yeah. But we're here on a full-price Tuesday night with, like, three other cars. Yeah. <laughs> Literally three other cars. Maybe four other cars. Yeah. It's not at all busy, but we're pumped. We've got some Black Panther first, which is a film I already adore, and I'm going to really enjoy that. Same. And then New Mutants. And we'll check back in in between and let you know how it's going. Yeah. And Megan is trying some new Taco Bell. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. We'll let you know how that is, too. My taco was good. Yeah. Good check-in. Black Panther was also good, but we knew that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'd seen it before. But that doesn't make it less enjoyable. This is just such a good film. It's because Killmonger is, without a doubt, the best MCU villain thus far. We watched New Mutants. Mm -hmm. It was just as bad as we thought it was going to be. It was maybe a little bit worse than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I, I think that it was exactly as bad as I thought it was going to be. But Megan did not know the harrowing journey of this film until, like, five minutes before the film started. So she didn't understand... Mm -hmm. It was as poorly made as I thought it was going to be, but I thought it would be more thematically cohesive. Mm -hmm. Not because of, like, the reason it wasn't cohesive isn't just because it went through so many different stages of production. It's just that, like, it built itself as a horror movie and the trailers were very, were creepy. very horror based. And I expected it to have more horror elements or build like a horror movie. And it didn't do either of those things. Every scary thing that's in the trailer is all of the scary things. Yeah, although I don't know if the smiling men are in a trailer. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely are. Definitely are. With and without the masks. You see that scene where the mask falls off. Mm -hmm. So like every scary thing like there's not a reveal there's not a nothing the yeah. bear is in the trailer for mm. sure yeah just like the eyes and the creepy smoke bits mm. and it following blonde girl mm. there's a mm -hmm. whole promo video that's her turning with the sword and the full silhouette of the bear so there's like yeah, there's nothing that happens nothing. in that film that isn't in the trailer. Except, like, creepy medical stuff, which, like, if you're, like, against, like, creepy medical stuff. Yeah, there's a fair amount of needles. My dad would be out. Channing would be out to mm -hmm. do medical. Mm -hmm. There's a doctor who keeps uh, reminding you that she's a doctor. She does keep reminding you that she's a doctor, which means she's probably not, not a doctor. doctor. Uh, but I did like the way they displayed everybody's mutant powers in this mm -hmm. i thought that it was cool and interesting i especially was excited for liana and i feel like her look i enjoyed mm -hmm. the acting in this movie was also great it's really unfortunate mm -hmm. that it turned out the way it did yeah and it's a very small cast so much I gayer were like they're, they're than i thought it would be oh i knew how gay very it would gay be because i well knew but it's, it's gay. Yeah, but it is gay. More Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yo, oh, definitely it's more Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Also gayer than you Slayer thought, because there's I gay expected. Buffy the Vampire Slayer in there, yeah. too. So, like, definitely more Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But there I was a surprising amount of Allison Hannigan in this film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet she's not credited as one of the 14 actors. Who knew? Boom. Yeah, but 14 actors listed on this, which means, like, a small I feel crew. like they could have done better. Yep, they just could have... Horror films are notoriously cheap to make. It's why companies that are tanking make horror films. Listen, you don't have company... to have good lighting. You don't have to have varied sets. You just gotta have the right kind of creepy music factor. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, I feel like they could have done more. That CGI bear at the end. Oh my god. Terrible. The bear the rest of the time? Fine. Actually kind of cool. But at the end when she when Danny faces it down, I was like, oh my gosh. It and then they just kept showing like it. Like they used a picture of a Test real footage. bear. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. They took a picture of a bear and they put it through one of those cartoonizer... Oh, filters? Filters. It did have that look. Yep. And it was terrible. So that's our review of New Mutants. New Mutants. <laughs> New Mutants. New Mutants. <laughs> New Mutants. I see you tomorrow. Here's the thing. No one's going to see the new mutants. They were new, and now they're going to be Old. gone forever. Oh, it's kind of sad. But true. But they're gay. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>